the holder of duality. Deep inside the ruins of a village not spoken of for centuries, in a building untouched by both time and nature, is where you will find me. Finding this village will be no simple task, by any means. Not only will you require knowledge of exactly where you must look, but you will also be required to heed specific paths and steps in order to bring out the presence. If you have the will, you will find your way. You need but to want me with all of yourself. Hold not a doubt in your heart, and the way shall be revealed. If you have taken the proper steps, and hold the need, you shall be drawn to my place of rest by unseen hands. Upon entering the building, a voice shall call out to you. Do not reply. The temptation will be all-encompassing, but you must fight it. If you fail to heed this warning, your existence will become one of agony, an agony from which you will never free yourself. If you have the will to be silent, however, you shall find yourself suddenly wrenched free of your body. Your spirit shall descend into a place of complete darkness. Peace will wash over your spirit, and consciousness will leave you as well. When you awake, you will find yourself in a room, a room without exits or entrances, a room in which, save for one wall, all walls are the most pure white you have ever seen. The one wall separate from this will be a mirror, and in this mirror you shall see yourself as you truly are. All things which you have attempted to hide in your life shall be written upon your reflection. Any evil you have wrought shall be shown in scars on the flesh of the one before your eyes. The voice will once again call out to you. My voice shall call out to you. You must answer, and you must answer truthfully. You will be tested. Your will must be strong. You must purify your reflection. Every truthful answer, if emotion is provoked by it, will remove scars. If you are able to bear all before me, an object will reveal itself before you. Do not attempt to take it before it is time. You will know when that is. Be sure you are ready as well, for you shall face your final true test at this moment. Upon taking this object, images of great evil shall flash before your eyes in quick succession. For an untold time, horrors the likes of which no man has ever bared witness to will be burned into your mind. During this time you must not scream, you must not cringe, you must not take any actions at all. But most importantly, you must not think. Your mind must stay completely clear of any and all thoughts. An impossibility for most, but hopefully not for you, seeker. If you are able to conquer all of these things, you will gain what you seek. I shall greet you, and you will have reclaimed one of the lost. I am both holder and object, duality personified. My consciousness will be with you always. We shall be as two minds in a single body. Upon returning to your body, you will find that you are clutching an orb of pure ice, unmelting, indestructible, in your right hand. A symbol of our covenant, our bond. Our bonding will have done away with ten of your years. The things you have seen will forever be etched into your memory. Beware, our bond is not without its frailties, however. If you feel even a moment's regret in what you have done, I will leave you, and your life will fall into a darkness from which you shall never recover. I am both holder and object, one of the lost. My number is 2532 of 2538. If the will is yours, so shall I be.